Hey guys, I'm back. This time I will be doing um, a Nightmare Corridor guide uh, for free-to-play. Now, a lot of people have been talking about when I say free-to-play. Well, I'm a free-to-play player, right? I've never spent money on the game. Um, but of course, like, you might not have the same heroes built as I do, but I will just show you what I used um, to get to my rank in the Nightmare Corridor. So I just finished all my attacks. Um, this is not where we were supposed to look. I just finished all my attacks and I got to top 8%, which I think is pretty good. Um, now I anticipate this to drop once more people complete uh, the Nightmare Corridor. There's still 21 hours left to go. But I will show you um, what I used to get my score. So for the first team here, first team here, um, I'm using uh, this team with the Owl. Um, and now for this team, there's a few things you can do. For example, if you have Awakened Baden built, he can slot in instead of Lucretia, and then you swap uh, positions between Lucretia and um, Mishka. So if you have Baden built, he slots in very well in the first team. Um, I'll also be showing some different teams later on in the video, um, depending on what heroes you have built. But for this team, I found that this team worked pretty well, able to kill the boss in under one minute, which is pretty good for free-to-play standards. Uh, I kind of aimed um, for killing the boss in under one minute. Um, that was kind of my goal for the different fights and just swapping heroes around to see if I could achieve that. Uh, we don't talk about the last fight, but I'll get to that. All right, so the next team, this is where I murked someone because I don't have Thane built. So I had a, a friendly guild member able to borrow me a completely maxed out Thane, or I mean, any build out Awakened Thane would work here. Um, but this is the team that I used. If you don't have Thane and you can't get a Thane for this fight, I also, uh, in a previous fight, did this team with Raku. But as you can see, Raku took one minute and 23 seconds. And with Thane, it only took 37 seconds. So yeah, a big time save here uh, if you're able to get a Thane. But Raku works as well. Uh, but it might be a bit of RNG as to how fast Reku can kill the second team. Now for the third team, this is the Belinda team. Now, here, I'm so happy I built Belinda. But if you don't have Belinda, um, I'll go later in the video, I'll go look at the crowdsourcing Discord where people uh, are trying to help out other people with their teams. Um, but I'd say if you don't have Belinda, you probably want to borrow Belinda for this team and then just run with Reku here. Um, but yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I subbed in um, this guy because, uh, Helios, because <laughs> my last team was not very success successful and it needed all the help it could get. But ideally this would be uh, either Twins or Rain uh, or even Antandra in this position. But I use all of those in different comps. But as you can see, 40 seconds, pretty good. Next one, 49 seconds. This is the Scarlet team. Now. For the Scarlet team, obviously Scarlet Gress, classic combo. Um, and here I have Rain. Uh, Rain could be twins as well. Um, and we use the the level nine pet. Uh, the f I don't think he's the, f the Blade Ridge pet. Um, for pet levels, um, most of my pets are level six or around six. Um, but this is one of those that I have at level nine, uh, which actually makes a huge difference for this pet. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Victoria Scarlet team and this should probably be the one team that most people wouldn't struggle building now for the next team um, This is the Yorin team now Yorin If that's how you pronounce him, I'm building out because this guy has been impressing me a lot Not only is he insane in the wilder tower, but I think uh, With this game mode coming out He just seems to be so meta and he kills bosses very fast as you can see 30 seconds. That's insane um, obviously also using the Awakened version of Solus, um, but it's mainly Yorin, Yorin doing all the damage and then these th three, four characters amping his damage uh, with the um, winged line as the pet. And then we come to the, the bane of my existence, <laughs> uh, the sixth team. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this team is a struggle for me. If you have the new Awakened hero, uh, the Matria, the uh, Dark Taylene, whatever you want to call her. Obviously, she slots into this team and it's a breeze, uh, but obviously I don't have her. Um, so I found out that Kren 
was a fine substitute for her. And when I say fine, it's like it barely fine. Cause if I if I don't use pretty well like pretty important heroes here, I don't kill this uh, final boss. Um, I had to pull twins in here, mortars in here. Um, this uh, Sophia could actually be um, Authos, but I don't have Authos built. Um, but yeah, if you have Matria built, the sixth battle becomes a lot easier. And I, I read somewhere that this pet was actually best for this fight. Um, I tried out a few different pets and it seemed like this was the best pet. But yeah, I'm just happy I actually killed this. As you can see, like all my other fights are like pretty well timed. And then this last one <clears throat> really brings my score down. So this is the teams that I used. Um, first team, second team, third team, fourth team, fifth team, and sixth team. Now, let us go over where I got my inspiration for my teams, because obviously I didn't come up with them myself. I did swap around a bit, um, but I had some help. And where I got this help is on the the crowdsourcing Discord. Now, I'm just at this point, I'm just the crowdsourcing FK crowdsource uh, FK Arena crowdsource Discord salesman. Uh, I'm shilling this every single video, and well, here I am again. They have a Nightmare Corridor tab, and as you can see, they have planned out all the future um, cycles for the Nightmare Corridor. And in here, there's a lot of team teams. Also, um, for the individual challenge, like the, the four hero quest for Brute, you can see someone posted some different teams here, um, even some fairly cheap ones that you could probably just merge one of the Awakened Heroes and you can make that sh uh, get that done. Uh, in here is a pretty good guide. Um, again, you know, if it's Chinese, it's good. And this is also what I uh, highly based my teams upon. Um, but as you can see, I had to pull basically everything into this last team because I didn't have Matria, um, which is where my twins went and Mortis and such. Um, but in here, you can find a lots of different teams for, for example, Pogo here posting a low account guide. So maybe you guys don't have any Awakened Heroes or, or none at all, or like, a pretty weak account you you might be able to find someone in here who is like helping you guys out a, as a weaker player as you can see belinda works as legendary um and here's uh, actually kind of the current team that i used right it's pretty similar to the to my current team as you can see here he's also struggling with one minute and 22 seconds but it gets it done right quint Kren gets it done if you don't have matria um so yeah that's pretty much it for the guide. Now, uh, quickly here, uh, before I leave you guys, uh, I do want to go over the reward store here. Um, as you can see, this is what I bought. Um, there is a lot of, like, I have built twins. Obviously, twins would be the uh, priority here. But there's a lot of merit um, in skipping Frampton, actually. Uh, Frampton doesn't really have much use, if any. He was used in the, uh, what, uh, the, in the, uh, Temple Rift uh, Grand Hunt event, uh, but now that's removed. So I'm not sure he actually has any if much use at all. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, like, I could respect someone, for example, my some of my guildmates went for um, baits, red chests, and twisted essence instead of getting one of these heroes because Leofric has no use. Twins, most people have built twins. Um, and Safriel is a PvP hero, um, but as a free-to-play player, for example, I don't really build for PvP. Um, if you watch my treasure scramble guide, you can see how I kind of I kind of get by uh, with the heroes that I have. Uh, but obviously, Safriel is hugely useful in the in the PvP scene. Um, but again, I don't really participate in that. But I chose to build out Framson because if you look, I actually have a lot of copies of Framson. Now, some of these I got from events, and I think I pulled like three of them from normal summons. So I just thought I would build out Frampton because um, I like building out heroes, I'll be honest, even if it's not completely optimal, like baits and, and cores are probably better. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it for me in the uh, Nightmare Corridor. Now, before I leave you guys, I also want to, uh, after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to do my Cursed Realm um, setup and I, I'll post my Cursed Realm guys once I'm done 
done with that. So if you guys haven't used your tags in Cursed Realm, you can wait for my guide and maybe get some inspirations from there. But anyways, that's about it. Uh, see you guys.